ko may channel guys, Monatology. So yung kwento po natin ngayon is about uh, Martin Romualdez, yung speaker of the house. So uh, meron pong isang skandalo na nangyayari. So uh, alam na alam po natin na uh, related si uh, Martin Romualdez sa mga Marcoses. Ano po. So pakinggan po natin tong uh, news na ito from uh, Japan Times. Dito po sa Japan Times na na uh, uh, website, sinasabi po na yung naka-highlight po yung Japanese firm accused of improper influence over Manila Casino. Although this guys is uh, going around the, uh, the internet, going around social media for how many days, but still I want to uh, give you the uh, some clarity about this issue. Ano? And uh, nakakahiya talaga tayo guys, lagi na lang tayong uh, balita sa kalokohan ano, sa buong mundo. <laughs> And uh, natatawa ako dun sa mga comment ng ating mga kababayan. Talagang uh, nakaka-disappoint talaga. And sinasabi nga nila, talaga bang ang mga kalokohan at pagnanakaw ay genetic? So, so officials of a Japanese entertainment company in a merger fight over Manila Casino Resort sought to improperly influence a prominent Filipino legislator to regain control of the property. A special purpose acquisition company suing Universal Entertainment alleged. In a filing Monday in Delaware Chancery Court, the SPAC 26 Capital Acquisition claimed that university executives brought heavy luggage to a meeting with the Philippine House of Representatives Speaker Martin Romualdez to try to secure his support in the dispute. They have been trying to take back control of the 40 hectares Okada Manila Resort and Casino valued at 2.6 billion. So, napakalaking halaga talaga pinag-uusapan dito guys. Kaya talagang uh, nagbit-bet ng isang mabigat na luggage po ang, ang uh, uh, universal po executive no? para suhulan daw itong allegedly si uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez. So, um, nakakahiya at nasa Japan Times pa. Let's continue reading. It says the filing includes emails that 26 capitals say showed the executive flew from Japan to meet with Romualdez to enlist his help in pressuring the nation's Supreme Court to advance their interests. The SPAC's lawyers claim that universal wrongdoing includes potential bribery of governmental officials followed by effort to run the deal clock out before such activity comes to light. Ayan po. So, eh, yan naman pong talagang bribery sa atin eh. Parang normal na normal na lang, ano. Parang tanggap ng lahat na ganun na talaga sa atin. Ito pa sabi guys, sabi niya, Brad Davey, a Wellington-based lawyer for Universal Tiger Resort Unit, didn't return a call seeking comment on the allegations. Romualdez didn't respond to an email sent after the close of business in Manila. So, yun po. Hindi raw po sumasagot si Ginoong Romualdez doon sa mga email. Ano. And siguro, uh, gusto nilang pagtakpan nito. Eh, sabi nga nung isang uh, netizen, ano to? Meron ba tong, uh, uh, media blackout? So, pero, syempre, eh, hindi po natin yan mabablackout. Mablackout man sa Philippines. Pero ganito yung The Japan Times, ano, ano website, di nila kaya nila, uh, tapagtakpan yan. So, ito na po. SPACs are shell designed to buy another company with the investment money they attract and take it public. They quickly evolve from an obscure corner of financial world to an investing craze before coming under more government scrutiny. Jay's either CEO of Spring Oil Asset Management launched 26 capitals to combine it with the resort and the secure listing for the property. The deal fell apart and the SPAC sued Universal to revive it. Ader, a veteran gaming industry analyst who sits on the board of Las Vegas Sands, testified earlier this month that the, the Universal started working to sabotage the transaction starting in 2022. 
Universal declared the merger dead on June 30. Dispute involves 275 million investment by 26 Capital in the resort and casino. Uh, Universal owned 88 percent of the property under the terms of the deal, but the transaction has been complicated by turmoil within the Japanese company. Universal and its units managing the casino have been at odds after its founder, billionaire Kazuo Okada, was ousted from the board last year. So, ito po yung istorya ng mag-ama na nagkakagulo rin, ano, dahil uh, yung si Kazuo, I think that's the father, ano, and uh, they have a dispute with the, uh, he has a dispute with the son, so, um, kaya medyo parang nagkaroon ng drama-drama uh, doon sa Okada noong last year. So, Okada took control of the property after the Philippine Supreme Court reinstated the billionaire as chairman of the casino operator, Tiger Resort Asia, a universal unit that prompted universal executives to come up with a plan to regain control of the casino. The SPAC alleges, according to the filing, the email showed that the universal executive flew from Tokyo to Philippines a year ago, bringing the heavy luggage with him. He and a second universal official met with Romualdez, 26 capital claims. Yan na po. So, maliwanag po yan na po. Hindi po yan ABS-CBN, hindi po yan Rappler. So, hindi nyo po pwedeng sabihin na uh, Dilawan <laughs> or Pink Lawan ang, ang the Japan Times. Romualdez then called justices of the country's, country's Supreme Court to urge them to allow the Tiger Resort unit to take back the resort, the fighting says. In September, in clarifying its earlier decision, the court effectively did so. The SPAC's officials were never told about the July 2022 top secret heavy luggage mission, Ader's lawyer said in the filing. Ader had said he struggles to get Universal Executive to close the SPAC deal, which his lawyers have described in U.S. football terms as being so close to the, the it's on a one-yard line. Sure, they had abandoned vows under the agreement to use reasonable best efforts to finalize the transaction. The resort's managers counter that a spate of problems with SPAC in the U.S. soared them on the merger and gave the, them legitimate reason to pull out. The case is being heard in Delaware because the, that's where 26 Capital is incorporated. The state is the corporate home to more than 60% of Fortune 500 companies. Each chancery judge are known for their speedy handling of M&A fights without juries. So, yun po ang uh, sa issues sa Japan Times. Actually, it's not only Japan Times. Meron pang uh, actually na article sa ibang uh, website. And kaya ko po itong ni Vlog ay talaga namang nakakahiya. No? Lagi na lang uh, sikat yung Pilipinas sa mga kalokohan. Ano? And uh, ganito na lang ba lagi, guys? So, uh, Guys, hindi lang po yun sa Japan uh, Times uh, lumabas. Ano, meron din po dito sa uh, bravo.com Philippines. Ano, and the, the same thing uh, news. And uh, ito yung sinasabi. No, na, sabi, um, ito daw yung heavy luggage mission. The filing includes emails that 26 Capital says show the Universal Executives flew from Japan to meet with Ron Wallace to enlist his help in pressuring the nation's Supreme Court to advance their interests. The SPAC lawyers claim that universal wrongdoing includes potential bribery of government officials followed by effort to run the deal clock out before such activity comes to light. According to the filing, the email show that a universal executive flew from Tokyo to the Philippines a year ago, bringing the heavy luggage with him. He and the second universal official met with Romualdez, 26 capital claims. Ayan po, sabi pa. Romualdez then called justices of the country's Supreme Court to urge them uh, allow the Tiger Resort uh, unit to take back the resort. Romualdez ignored calls to dispute the story the Japan Times supported. Jason Ader, CEO of Spring 
all asset management form 26 capital to combine it with universal and secure public listing for the property amid the ongoing ownership battle between the Okado father and son. But the relationship with an aider and the Tomihiro's turned sour and the deal collapsed on June 30, prompting 26 Capital to sue Universal in Delaware where the 26 Capital was incorporated. So, ayan po yung, yung medyo, iklian ko lang yung ano na, kasi medyo umahaba na yung ating pagbabasa ng article. Pero gusto ko rin basahin sa inyo yung mga comment po ng mga netizens about this issue. No? Sabi ni Celeste H.M., Sabi, yan daw ang pambato ng admin sa 2028 presidential election. So, sinasabi po, uh, si Martin Ramuades daw ang pambato. Sabi naman ni J. Carlo Domingo, who needs a new blackout when the people don't care anymore? I spoke to an OFW a few weeks back and the topic was about the Moharlika funds. I asked her why she still support Marcos in spite of the corruption issues. Coming to light, her answer was, ah, basta. Uh, that's show that majority thinks nowadays the finality of their uneducated choice is uncontestable. uncontestable. God save the Philippines. So, um, yun po yung pinakakakalungkot dyan, ano, guys. Yung, uh, yung mga tao, kahit na anong explain po natin, ano, kahit ano, pakita natin kung ano yung what's wrong with what's happening and what's wrong in this administration and the leaders uh, and its leaders and the government officials I mean, I, they don't care no? kasi parang pinanindigan na lang ah basta, gusto ko si si uh, BBM, ah basta ito yung gusto kong ito yung bet ko, ano? parang like ang ba, sabi ko nga noon sa mga vlog para lang itong basketball noong araw na Chris pa Toyota eh, no? parang Parang Nora o Nora Vilma Santos, no? you don't need to think hard and you just pick up what you want like kung sino yung mas maputi, kung sino yung mas maganda yung boses, kung sino yung mas magandang umarte. But, you know, you don't need a, like a, like a, so much thinking, you just pick up, you know, it's like a fans club, no? <laughs> okay, dito ako, dito ako sa puti, dito ako sa itim. So it's very sad no na ganito yung nangyayari sa atin sa Pilipinas na walang pakialam yung marami mga tao sa atin. Da pagkatapos sila pa yung uh, malalakas din na uh, magreklamo dahil sila yung sa totoo lang mas marami sa kanila ay yung mga naghihirap you know and then sila yung natatamaan ng uh, kapalpakan sa gobyerno. And still uh, itong uh, bribery ay kumbaga ay naging normal naging normal na sa atin ano parang parang uh, hindi na pinapansin nga ano parang like oh okay lang ganyan naman lahat eh lahat naman ng uupo ganyan din magnanakaw so okay lang yan so yun yung po yun yung po yung napaka-toxic na katuwiran ng ibang mga Pilipino na okay lang yan kasi lahat naman magnanakaw so wala talagang kung ganito po lagi ang ating mga katwiran wala na pong mangyayari sa ating Bansa. So, let's uh, wake up our mind and uh, kumbaga, uh, let's pray for everyone's wisdom, ano, guys, na sana uh, God will uh, give us all wisdom pa to think to, and have clarity for everything, ano po, lalong-lalo na when it comes to our, uh, our uh, country. Okay, guys, okay, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para po lagi kayo updated sa monotology. Please comment, guys, and like, and please share. Thank you so much. Bye.